everybody, welcome back to the shop for a really quick review. You're going to have to pardon the noise. I've got some prints going on in the background. My kids are upstairs playing on the piano. But I wanted to get this uh, review uh, taken care of, and so here we are. The uh, good folks at Yusu sent me some of this iForm 183 water washable resin. And what I figure I would do is run some of the same tests I ran on the standard resin and the ABS resin and do those same tests with this water washable resin and then compare the results of the tests I run on this resin with the other ones that I did previously. So if you want to see how this iForm 183 water washable resin works out, stick around. Right at the very beginning, I struggled to get the bottle open. The ring on the pull tab was too small for my finger, and when I used a screwdriver, it just broke off. I ended up pulling the top completely off, but now the lid will not seal back onto the bottle. Once I opened the bottle, I noticed a couple of things right away. First, the smell was very subtle. In fact, I had to actually bring the bottle up to my nose before I could actually smell the resin. Second, this water washable resin has a very low viscosity when compared to normal resin. This could possibly be advantageous when printing in environments where the temperature is less than 20 degrees C. I'm printing the pre-supported Elf Warrior model at 100% and 150% for my drop tests, and I'm printing a guitar pick for the abrasion test. Cleanup is the same as standard resin, but instead of alcohol, you use water. The print appeared to rinse off adequately in the water. I struggled to remove the supports though. This resin appears to be much more rigid than standard resin and does not flex easily. I ended up spending more time than usual removing the supports from these models. After curing, the models turned an off-white, almost bone-like coloration. I may have overcured them a little, but I don't mind the color at all. Now on to the testing. First, I drop the small model off the table at a height of about 36 inches or one meter onto the hard floor. Despite all the small, intricate details and sharp points on the model, it sustained no damage in the fall. I even dropped it a second time just to be sure. Next, I dropped the larger model off a balcony about 10 feet or 3.5 meters up onto the hard floor. Upon impact, the model completely blew apart and lost its arms and legs, though the torso did remain intact. The final test for today is the abrasion test on the guitar pick. I played a couple high impact songs on my bass guitar just to see how well the pick would hold up. Once again, I noticed the rigidity of this resin when compared to standard resin. However, the pick did not chip and it only showed about the same amount of wear as the standard and ABS resin. What can I conclude from these tests? It appears the Yusu iForm water washable resin cures harder than standard and ABS-like resin, which gives it a certain amount of extra durability with small items dropped at lower heights. It also offers the same amount of abrasion resistance as standard and ABS-like resin. I think this resin would be great for making durable miniatures and small functional parts that need to be rigid and not flexible. What I like about the Yusu iForm water washable resin? Low odor. I couldn't detect the smell of this resin when I first opened the bottle. This is great for people who print within their living space or for those who are sensitive to the smell of normal resin. Low viscosity. Though I haven't tested it, the lower viscosity of this resin should allow it to be printed in cooler temperatures and should also result in fewer failures. Hard curing. This resin gets hard. I find this to be a great option if you are looking to make precision parts that cannot flex. What I don't like about the Yusu iForm water washable resin. Poor bottle seal. Seriously. 
It shouldn't be this hard to get the bottle open. I never have liked the aluminum bottles some manufacturers provide, but that may just be a preference on my part. I hope you like this quick review of the iForm 183 resin. If you are looking to try it out for yourself, I will provide an affiliate link in the description box below. If you buy anything through my link, I will receive a commission for that sale, and the best part is that it all happens at no additional cost to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Thanks to everyone for watching and I hope you all have a great day.